and welcome back to this Let's Play. Now, when we last left off, we had a very creepy flashback. Just a second. My... Odd. Maybe I'm still in flashback. There I was. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was still part of the flashback. Alright, anyhow. Now we're finished with that flashback. Still in the choir entrance. Just gonna explore a little bit. Listen to the creepy ambient music. Look at the painted man. Ah, that's Hannity. Can't remember which way I'm going. That's the nave. I'm pretty sure the pretty sure those corpses don't appear on uh, higher sanity levels. And here we are in what is possibly the um, most dangerous room in the game, according to uh, something I've read once. Uh, it had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. I've already read that. Ah, uh, yeah, this is apparently one of the most uh, dangerous parts of the game. So hug the left wall. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now, you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Uh, there's a reason that this place is so dangerous. It's full of brutes. Also, it's hard to see. Apparently, the Red Fog was inspired by Silent Hill. As was much of this game. What's that? Pillars are a good place to hide in here. Jumping makes you uh, uncrouch. There. <laughs> All I can think is how I love to hear the choir in the castle in the moonlight. And yes, I know the original was was chapel, but I'm I'm ignoring that fact. By the way, it's just bright enough that you don't actually lose uh, sanity from the dark. That is the Iron Maiden, don't go near that, uh, if you can help it. Look at Frightened. Daniel won't like it. Laudanum. Laudanum. Ah, that, that, the original lyrics to that song I was making fun of were uh, in, the, in the chapel in the moonlight, but I'm ignoring that. I should probably stop explaining all my jokes, but... Alright, I think they're going to force me to go near the Iron Maiden. Maybe I can avoid it. Maybe I can. Get up there. Come on. Also, uh, there's a thing on TV tropes called chump bait, I believe. Ah, there it is. Which is the idea that you can taunt, you, you can try to trick people into doing something really stupid just because people are curious. The Iron Maiden is an example of chump bait. If you go near it, uh, it'll open and spew blood at you, and you're quite capable of jumping into it. And I'm almost certain 
you die if you do that. Because that's a really bad idea. So we're just going to continue on. Uh, I don't remember. Um, what I'm trying to do with Let's Play is less give you uh, constant shot and Freud at my mistakes, though I am trying to do that too, uh, and more let you know how to play the game well so that you avoid making some of the mistakes that I doubtlessly will. Uh, and that's part of why. I've already actually read upon part of the game, so that I can do things more efficiently and not waste your time. Even though it would be kind of funny to probably to watch me fail miserably. Alright, don't cross that bridge. Uh, let's see. If any of you have ever made a Let's Play before, then you probably know how awkward it feels to try to talk constantly while doing this. At least, maybe maybe that's just me though, because I have a little bit of social anxiety, which is why I'm here recording Let's Play of Amnesia rather than, you know, socializing. Now, cross this bridge. Oh no. I don't know where the fruit is. Go away! I can hear it creaking. There it is. Oh shit! Oh, come on! I was on top of that bridge. Well, that didn't go over so well. <laughs> I'm not very good at hiding in wide open spaces. I don't even know where that thing came from. I don't even know where I am. Back at the fire entrance, great. Anyway, that was a brief for you. I think I got bad directions. I was told to cross that bridge. I crossed that bridge, but maybe I should have crossed that bridge instead of, you know, stopping and hiding. I just hope the brute's gone whenever I come back. Oh, one bad thing about the brutes as well. They run faster than you do. I'm not sure how I managed to escape that other one. In the sewer. Luck. Skill. Dashing good looks. I do wonder if I'm going to get killed by every single brute I find, just because I'm not that good at hiding. I probably should have moved whenever I heard it creaking. There's also the possibility I just chose a really bad hiding place. So here's attempt number two. Alright, this time it went better. And I'm running out of time, so I'll see you in the next one. That was unsettling. Alright, now then, I'll see you in the next part.